Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to In Miko We Trust. We're playing as Helio Butts, the vice president, and it's one of the most important days of the year. It's the president's birthday, President Miko, and we don't know what to get President Miko. So I'm kind of debating who we should ask. I don't care about the CIA director. I either want to ask Futo, because I like Futo, or just go ask Miko herself, himself? I, I didn't check. I thought it was a girl. Maybe I can find out from Miko herself. It is a girl. That's what I thought. I'll drop hints, make suggestions, nothing up front. That'd look bad. If I'm right, she doesn't have anything um, on at the moment. She's naked? Oh! President... Mm, pussy. Let's see if I can get her on her own for a few minutes. Ah, uh, the oval orifice. Hey, boss, I need to talk to you about... Uh, eh? Miko's lying a sound asleep on her desk. No pillows, no blankets, just conked out at the most important seat in the country. My butt's not the most important seat in the country. It's uh, almost surreal, honestly. Every time I've seen her, she's always been so focused and full of energy. I guess even saints have their limits. Still, this makes present finding a lot harder. I can't ask her anything if she's like this. I could rummage through her desk and maybe try to find some clues, but that might wake her up. Oh, man, what do I do? I want to examine her desk. I more want to leave her be, but... Oh, fuck, we're going to examine her desk. Okay, got to do this carefully. I'm sure she wouldn't mind if I do a little peeking. I pull up one of the drawers behind her desk. Several stacks of papers are locked away inside with the word classified printed on them in big red letters. I try not to look at too many of them while I skirt about. And by that, I mean I wear a skirt. Surely there's got to be something useful in here. Oh, crap! She's stirring. What is she stirring? Please, please don't wake up. Ah, that was a good nap. I haven't had the chance to relax like that in years. Uh, ass holy, what are you doing? Oh, no. Damn it. Mortal, uh, not Mortal Kombat, but Metal Gear Alert. No, no, that can't be the end. No! Otacon. Have you learned your lesson now? Oh, I can't feel my face. Uh, that stick she always carries around is a lot heavier than it looks. I, I, I'm sorry, boss. I was just trying to... No excuses! Or my shaku will have be having another discussion with your skull. I assure you it will have a profound impact on the, your way of life. She's absolutely livid. I don't think anything I say is going to reach her at this point. Y yes, boss. I'll be going now. Damn it, I just wanted to buy you a present. Close the door behind you on your way out. I nod, every muscle aching as I haul myself out of the room. I didn't even get to wish her a happy birthday. Man. Why am I so bad at being vice president? Oh, I bet Al Gore said that a lot too. <laughs> right now, Al Gore is watching this and he's like, Are you kidding? I got to be on the board of Apple after I got done with politics. I'm richer than anyone. Blah. Oh. Yet another day without merit in the vice president's office. The secretaries don't bother me anymore, but that's taken most of the excitement out of my day. I've been passing the day with daytime television, or what passes for it nowadays. More family feud. Come on, detective, it's clear the husband did it. It's always the freaking husband. I really don't get why these cop shows are popular. They're pretty repetitive, and when you've seen the protagonist crack one joke while he puts his glasses on, you've seen them all. Oh. CSI, you feel that burn? Still, it's this or I spend my afternoon watching the shopping channel. So I guess Schnarky McFour Eyes will have to do for now. Eh? Just when the action is starting to get interesting, the signal shorts out. Are we going to walk into the president's office? <laughs> the president's going to be like on the phone with China trying to avoid a war or with Putin trying to avoid a war. And we be like, cable's out, man. And the president will be like, not right now. Uh, just when the action started to get interesting, the signal shorts out. Typical. Maybe I should have spent more than $30 on this thing. Uh, work, damn it! Percussive maintenance fails to solve the problems. By that, it means we punched it. 
I'm about to give up on the thing when a face pops up amongst the static. What the fuck? Alright, that's weird and creepy. Mm, hello, is this thing on? Can anyone hear me? Oh, I'm alive! Uh oh. I thought I had a few more seconds to warm up. What is this? What is this? There's a little girl muttering at the camera? I try switching to another channel, but the same face is playing on every network! Oh, Coco Row. Uh, I am. Greetings, America! Don't bother just in your TV set. I've been taking over every channel and every network. Oh, is this The Outer Limits? I love that show! Her voice gets a lot louder and more aggressive. It'd be scary if I hadn't seen her whimper like a puppy five seconds ago. I am Kokoro Hayatu. I'm here to deliver a message to President Toyo Sato Mimi. Or she's also known. My mother! Oh my god! The President has a kid? What? Miko has a daughter? Never mind that. That? Since when did she even have a boyfriend? Oh, what the hell is going on here? You left me for alone for so long, mother. I had to fend for myself in the wilderness with so much as a trust fund. What, can you give like a rabbit wolf trust fund money? And when I finally find you, you're my too busy being president to answer my emails. Uh-oh. How rude can you get? Well, in the boss's defense, she never really got her head around the whole computer nonsense. Anyways, complaining about the old days when there were messengers and calligraphy and, uh... Wait, that's not relevant right now? I don't know, I know we're not very far in this, but I have a tiny bit of sim sympathy for Devil Mask Lady that her mother ignores her. Well, I've had enough. I'm here to offer you an ultimatum, mother. Either you surrender the role of president to me... Or I'll share all your secrets with the press. Your first date. Your sna sappy romance novel. The president wrote a romance novel? It was about the oral orifice. That one time you were out camping, but you really had to pee. Everything. No. A lump forms in my throat. Where is this girl getting all her information? She can't really be Miko's daughter, can she? You know where to find me, mother. You've got 24 hours before every news network in the country gets all the scandal they'll ever want. Wait until you see what that does to your approval ratings. Okay, that's everything. Now how exactly do I turn this off? Hmm. Maybe I push the little button there. That was odd. Oh. Who's the president's boyfriend? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! No time to worry about TV reception now. I slip out of my chair and run down the hallway. I need help if I want any chance at solving this problem, and I know exactly who to go to. Futo Mono No No Fudo. I didn't know what to think when I first met her. She's loyal and hard. She gets me hard working, but a little special. Ah, special! Uh, still, even for all her strangeness, I can't help but feel drawn to her. She's so unusual, so when I'm so ordinary in comparison, why can't I be like her? There's never a dull moment around her, for better or for worse. But right now, I know she's going to need my help. If this broadcast is enough to make me anxious, then Futo... I wonder if she saw it. DEFCON 1! I repeat, DEFCON 1! The Russians are going to be confused. I want our entire arsenal ready to fire at a moment's notice! Fudo is screaming into her cell phone when I make it to the war room. The depressing thing is that, compared to what I was expecting, this is actually relatively sane on her part. Uh, Fudo, I thought we agreed that you wouldn't do DEFCON, change the left DEFCON level without my permission. Sir Butts! You don't understand! Somebody hijacked the TV and all! Uh... Yeah, I know. I saw too. She's threatening the boss, right? Oh, Lady Miko's pride won't be able to withstand or with salt like a rat. And uh, it will end her presidency for sure. Wait, what information can the uh, woman have that is so damning that would end the president's uh, presidency? 
She looks ready to burst. Oh no, don't explode. Oh, into tears at any moment. Don't let your face ho eye holes explode. Is it bad if I want to give the Secretary of Defense a big hug? No, it's, uh, uh, Secretaries of Defense need hugs too. Actually, don't answer that question. I already did. It's all right, Futo. We'll find this Coco Royal girl and deal with it. We'll deal with her ourselves. Really? You mean it? Ah! Yeah, uh, of course I do. But first, I need you to calm your tits before you start World War III. We can't stop her if we're all dead, can we? Ah! Uh, you ha! I suppose I may have overreacted. Daddy bit yes! Ha ha! Slightly. We are going to need a serious talk about this later. All right, let's talk business. What do we know about this girl? And is she really the boss's daughter? Ah, uh, that's a common misconception. She's a yukai. Lady Miko created a long time ago. The president has the ability to create people? What? She's not inherently evil, but prone to mischief. Oh my god, sort of like you then? Winkies, of course not! All right, maybe slightly. At least she's learning a little self-awareness. She lived, she's she been around for hundreds of years, and only now is she learning self-awareness? I guess it's better late than never. The more you know. So you've dealt with her before? What do we have to be afraid of? Well, she can prey on the emotions of humans to influence them. So she's manipulative like my ex. Not consciously, you see? She just thinks these people are her allies. Uh... She'll have some backup then. So where exactly will we find her? In a cave in Japan, I hope. She's a spirit of emotion. She's so very drawn to the dramatic. Oh, she'll be drawn to me, all right. Are there any theaters in the vicinity? Preferably ones that aren't in use. So we need to put on a play. My drama club experience finally comes into um play. See that mother? See that mother when you didn't believe in my dreams? Theater, drama club did matter. It's the only way to stop someone. Um, uh, now that I think about it, there's a little place a few blocks away that's been due for demolition for a while. Please tell me it's not Ford's Theater. That would be like a bad idea. Oh, uh, wait, what was I saying? Oh, you think that's where she's, uh, holed up? Oh, we're talking about her lady hole. It fits a modus operandi, at least. Fudo. Fudo, you know what? You know Latin. Cochito ergo sum. It means wieners in my mouth hole. <laughs> no, I think it means I... No, it means I suck, therefore I am. Oh, my. And I doubt we can afford to search the whole state for her. Fudo. Fudo. Fudo, I am so disappointed in you. Washington, D.C. is not a state. It is not... It is not a state. The capital of the United States of America is not in a state. Futo, I am judging you so hard right now. I'm going to judge you so hard, baby. Oh, and you're going to have so many issues of insecurity afterwards. I already do. Futo seems a lot more coherent than usual. Maybe knowing how serious this is has given her more of a sense of sanity. Here's hoping it sticks. All right, then what should we do? Send in a strike team? Oh, that won't be necessary. Futo is a strike team. I've got a plan in mind for this. Please be put on a play. Please be put on a play. I need a few hours to get it prepared, though. Really? What are you thinking of? That's a secret for now, but trust me. I'll say, when I say it'll blow you, I mean blow those terrorists out of the water. Is it okay for me to be a little frightened of her right now? I was just mostly thinking about when she said blow. Sure enough, Furu calls me out to the theater a few hours later. I was expecting there to be a heavy police presence, but apart from us, the place seems almost abandoned. I think Furo seems to miss the concept of delegation of power. The sad thing is I'm slightly relieved. I was ready for her to send in half of the U.S. Army to raid the place. Why not? Maybe she's finally learning. Ah, Sir Butts! You're here! Uh, can't leave you unattended for too long, you know. Uh, are they inside? In a deed! The 
several heat signatures inside. Can you just tell by looking? One of which is distinctly non-human. Maybe it's just a fart somebody left. If it's not Coco Row and her cohorts, I have no idea who else it could be. Cohorts? What does Rome have to do with this? Well, I guess that's good news. Uh, so you tell me what your plan is now? Patience, sir, but... Whoa, food hour, I'm surprised. It'll all be clear in due time. She ke the longer she keeps quiet, the more I feel like I've made a mistake bringing her here. Still no choice but to run with it now. I have utter faith in Fudo and her insanity. So is it really just the two of us? I couldn't help it if I tried. Just the two of us. Fudo and I. It should be yes, sir. Though if you'd rather stay outside like a pussy baby, I should hopefully be fine by myself. Uh, when you put it like that, I feel like I'd be abandoning you. You would, pussy baby. I will tag along. You are my pussy baby. <laughs> All right, Futo. I hope so. Yay, I like you, Futo. Now then, do business. Yeah, let's get down to business. They ain't wrong with a little... Fucking jive. Uh, Futo leads the way as we enter the theater itself. <laughs> Whatever she's got in mind, I hope it's enough to keep us both from getting shit to bits, shot to bits. Reading is hard. Oh, I love the theater. I want to sit in the balcony. All right, based on the ratings we received, they should be hiding around here somewhere. Here? A dozen gunmen pop up from behind the seats, aiming their weapons at the pair of us. They're wearing a variety of masks, some happy, some furious, others terrified. Of course, we're in the theater. We're fighting the theater geeks. We've got the happy and sad, you know, the tragedy and... Comedy mask. Up on the stage itself is the mastermind behind the affair. Ooh, someone's having an affair. Scandalous. The face that was plastered on every TV in the state a few hours ago. Washington, D.C. is not a state. It's the District of Columbia. It's not a state. It's purposely set up there to not be in a state. Hello, mother. It's been too long. I'm not your mother. <laughs> You're not my mother. I know exactly. Do I look like it? You're that little twerp she has ever for the sidekick. I am not the twerp. Uh, you the twerp. I just happen to be vertically challenged. That's all. Doesn't that mean the same thing, though? Twerp and little and vertically challenged. Regardless, this meeting is not to discuss my height or lack therefore. Thereof. Really? It's not? Because I, 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 I brought some... I, I, all the notes I brought was to discuss your height. We are here to arrest you for threats against the great president, Toyo Sato Mimi! Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Um, sorry if I'm missing something, but you're not in much of a position to negotiate. Did you miss the 40 weapons pointed at your head right now? I thought it was 10. She's right. We're pretty much both powerless right now. Can I use Fudo as a human meat shield? If I so much as Twitch... Oh, I love Twitch. That's a great site. I'll have more lead in my body than I'll have b blood. Well, that's right. Then I can, you know, use my dick to write things, right? Lead in my dick. Maybe should have left this one to the professionals. Ah, uh, but you forget one thing, ma'am. A very minor note. But one that hampers you significantly. You see, ma'am, I am. I hope they didn't shoot her. Fudo! Fudo slumps to the ground face first. A bullet hole planted square between her eyes? You fucking bastard! I'm not a doctor, but even I know that's gotta be. No, I like Fudo! That's gotta be fatal. <laughs> I didn't tell you. Why? I didn't tell you to shoot her yet. But boss, why didn't you give us guns if you didn't want us to? Stop questioning me, damn it. Mm. Our militias are something all coups are supposed to have. Kokoro starts bickering with one of his subordinates. No one is paying any attention to the body currently splayed across the floor. That doesn't last long, though. How rude! You didn't even let me finish my sentence! Fudo? What?! Fudo rises back to her feet, looking as healthy as ever. 
There's a hole in her head where the bullet lodged itself, but there isn't even a speck of blood. Not as I was saying! You see, ma'am, I am immortal! I gave up my humanity centuries ago! No amount of bullets will be enough to dispose of me! Oh, Fudo. I guess that does explain, uh, it does a lot to explain why she's so casual about, about the whole dying thing. That's not fair! No one told me you wouldn't die if I shot you! This, this story took a real left turn. I like how <laughs> Kokoro is just like, it's not fair, I shot you and you didn't die. I'm going to get back to the president. What is the president going to think? Kokoro's really not taking this development well. I'm getting the feeling she had a big script to follow, and it's all just been thrown out of the window. Well, it doesn't matter. Maybe we can't kill you, but that doesn't mean you can stop us. How do you plan to keep us from passing around your master's secrets? My master's secrets? True enough. Even with my immortality, I lack the strength to power, overpower you and your comrades. Well, let the truth come out. Fudo will deal with it. That's what politicians kind of do. Sorry, I was jammed the music. But if it's me, you'll have to worry about everyone if you wouldn't mind looking up. Uh, eh? What's she talking about? I'm as confused as Kokoro on this one. At Fudo's request, I look up to the roof of the theater. The roof! The roof! The roof is on fire! We don't need no water. Let that motherfucker burn. There's a large window that gives me a chance to see what's outside. And looming over the building is Voltron? Are you freaking kidding me? Uh oh, some sort of space satellite. Satellite. What the hell is that? It ain't the satellite of love, honey. There ain't no crow or Tom Servo on there. Some kind of satellite. That's my friends' project, Raging! It's a masterpiece I've been connecting, concocting for the last few months. Fudo made Star Wars happen. Rush is not going like that. A personal project, if you will. Fudo reaches into her pocket, pulling out a small remote control. At the push of a button, Raging will fire a concentrated laser directly in our position. Do it! Press it! Wait, wait, I'm on this position! The resulting explosion will be enough to level the entire theater! I'm not immortal like you, Fudo! But that's insane! You'd kill us all if you did that! Ah, but you're not quite right there! You would all die, yes, but I alone would walk out of the ashes and escape. Fudo! Either way, I win! Fudo! Why the hell didn't you tell me about this? I should have stayed outside! Worry not, sir, butts. I'll be sure to tell Lady Miko that you died as a true American hero! I don't want to die as an American hero! I want to live! See, I don't want to be an American hero! I haven't done nearly enough living for that yet! Well then, Kokoro, wink. You had your ultimatum, and now I shall have mine. Turn yourself in, or I'll save the state. The effort of cremating you. Cremating you? That's what I said. The choice is yours. Yo, I didn't sign up for this, man. I'm out of here. Me too. Said so someone remembers. No way I'm hanging around this maniac. Kokoro's minions drop their guns and run to the exit, pushing past each other on the way. I wonder if they really is the satellite thing. We don't make any effort to stop them. It's not the underlings we're worried about. What are you doing? Don't leave me behind. Ah! Mm. You're all cowards. You hear me? Mm. Looks like your control over your allies wasn't strong enough. Not strong like my giant vagina. Ah! Oh, I crushed the cans with it and recycled. Recycling is good. Well then, Kokoro, feel like surrendering yet? Mmm, no fair. Using orbital strikes is totally like cheating. Looks like Kokoro's not going to do anything crazy. As much as I have trouble believing it, Furo's Gambit might have actually worked. Still, we're going to have to have a long talk about this. Another addition to the things Fudo can't do without asking first list, I think. Actually, ask Holio. I disagree with you. It sounds like Fudo just bluffed the hell out of the enemy and won. I think maybe we should have a little more faith in Fudo.
Good work, you two! I was worried I'd have to deal with Kokoro myself, but you two handled the problem all on your own! Miko is waiting for us as the cops come to take Kokoro away. The Yukai is still mumbling about how unfair our strategy was. Um, you know, I can't say. I disagree with her on that, actually. It's probably UK. Think nothing of it, Lady Miko! I was doing my duty! Duty comes under my booty! As your Secretary of the Defense! Ah! Pretty sure vi vigilant missions, vigilante missions, don't fall under your job description, but now's not the time for that. But what do you plan to do with her? Surely we can let her treason slide! That seems a little drastic. All she really wanted was some attention, after all. Give me a few weeks and she should be fine. Personally, that seems a little lax, but you know what? I don't bother questioning. It's between a mother and her child. These two have dealt with Kokoro before in the past, after all. They know what they're dealing with better than I ever will. Anyway, thanks again! You should take the rest of the day off. Yeah, earned a day off. I'll see both of you bright and early tomorrow. Miko walks alongside the police car as it trudges off, taking Kokoro with it. I wonder what Miko has planned for her exactly. Ah, uh, it's not bad for a day's work. Don't you agree? Yeah, I agree. Fudo looks overjoyed. She's been grinning like an idiot ever since Miko gave her a compliment. It's a simple smile, but it's verging on contagious. Uh, that's made your day, isn't it? Of course! Nothing makes me happier than knowing I satisfied! Oh, I satisfy! Lady Miko so good! For all the strangeness, Fudo is uh, pretty basic at heart. All she wants is to make her boss proud and to satisfy her, which maybe is a little weird. Well, that's not quite true. She does have one other passion, one that's a bit less acceptable. What's wrong, Fudo? I really wanted to try out the Raijin. This is my first time de deploying it, but I never even got the chance to fire. Please don't blow, blow up the theater. Truth be told, I'm not heartbroken by the fact. After all, it's the only reason I'm still alive. Still, she seems really hung up over it. <sighs> Fine. Just this once. Sir Butts, you're certain? You did good work today. You deserve some kind of reward. Besides, the place is due for demolition anyway. Oh, I forgot about that. Yay, Sir Butts! Thank you so much! I thank you so much! Her smile is unassailable. I tried to assail it. I really did. It's like she's having five birthdays at the same time. I'm more happy than you know! She can barely control herself as she reaches into her pocket and pulls out the remote again. All right! Project Raisin, activate! Sp Space laser sounds. Holy crap! <laughs> it's so beautiful, isn't it, Sir Butts? Like a bolt of lightning from the gods themselves! Fuck theater! Futo cackles maniacally as the explosion hits. Debris is thrown in every direction. A catastrophic crater left in the laser's wake. I'm pretty sure I just broke a few hundred laws by letting her do that. But the grin plastered to her face makes it all feel strangely worth it. I think Fudo and I will be seeing a lot of each other from now on. We make a good team when it comes down to it. Besides, someone needs to keep an eye on her. I keep both eyes on her. Oh! Oh, I wasn't expecting that Fudo end. Love is holding hands while things blow up around you. Aww. Does that mean Fudo and us are going to end up together and blow up things? Actually, that's kind of hot. America. Keep trying for the other endings. Well, if you'd like to see the other endings, I'm sure you can play the game yourself. I'm going to imagine that after that, Fudo and Asolio Butts went and made out and they blew up Portugal. <laughs> oh, oh, blow it up harder. Blow it up harder. Oh. Yes, I got that Portugal for not really doing anything to us. Other than the fact that the ending was a little abrupt, I had a lot of fun with this game. It was really cool. If you would like to try it yourself, there will be a link in the description. And um, whoever created it, I really enjoyed it. So everybody, thanks for watching in Miko We Trust, in which you got to learn a little bit about the American political system. And I'll see you all next time.